Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day six of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, yeah, let's just get started. Let's do this. Uh, let's see. We have 30, 11. Find if a way can be sorted. Um, yeah. I didn't do that much today. I just kind of uh, ate a bit and that's it. Still uh, resting a little bit. In one operation, you can swap any two adjacent elements to see if they're the same number of set bits. If they have the same number of set bits, you are allowed to do this operation any number of times. Return true if you can sort the array, return false otherwise. Okay. If they have the same number of set bits. Um, hmm. I, mean, I think this one is... Uh, this one is a little bit awkward, but it's not too bad. Well... Especially not bad if n is a hundred. I wonder why that is. I thought there there would be something like with uh, if n wasn't a hundred. Honestly, I was gonna explore some idea of um, uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I added some union fine and like left right parody thing. So, and being a hundred is actually interesting. I don't know that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think what I would do though is just actually, you know, if n square is fine, um, then um, you can just do even bubble sword, right? I mean, you. Probably can figure out. I don't know. You can do no. I don't know that you can do an n squares. Oh, sorry. I don't know that you can do an n log n comparison based sort. But uh, but bubble sort or something like the reason why I say bubble sort is because bubble sort compare um is the one that allows you to compare adjacent elements, right? Um, and this is the one that would most closely resemble this. And since n is a hundred, we don't have to worry about n square. I mean, I guess in theory we can even do n cube. But, but I mean, I don't know. I think n squared should be good unless I'm missing something obvious. So let, let's get to it, right? So then now for I, uh, how does bubble sword work? I'm trying to do it off memory, of course. But basically, yeah, um, I think we just try to bubble up as greatly as possible, right? So for, um, so maybe we just do n iterations for j in range of n minus one, we go up, right? Uh, technically, I guess we'll go from to j, right, uh, to zero, because then now we can just do j and j minus one, right? So if nums sub j is less than num sub j minus one, right, then we want to swap, uh, but we have to do a n if uh, n um, um, bit count, I think, is the thing in... Uh, in Python, you can also write this function. Uh, maybe I should write it. I, don't, I actually don't know if this. It's something like. I, I forget what. Um, yeah, I forget how how to. Uh, I forget. Um, I, I forget what the function is. I. F it's either that or something like this. I forget which one it is. Like. In Python, but you could also write it very quickly. I think so. Um, yeah, let me just return. Yeah. Right. So I can just uh, is it bit count? Yeah. So then we can just do this, right? Which is what they want. But you can definitely write this. It's just like a for loop, right? Uh, maybe even cache it, or you could just pre-process it as well. Maybe that's the other way of doing it. But yeah, this swaps, and then we just go all the way, swapping all the way up, right? And then now, uh, yeah, we just have to compare if everything is good, right? So if num sub, uh, we could we could write it in a different loop too, right? So if num sub i is greater than num sub i plus one, then we return false. Otherwise, we return true, and that should be good. Right, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's give it a quick submit. Uh, looks okay. Apparently, I did it a, a 10 months ago. I don't remember this at all. wonder how I did it. Uh, I basically, did I? 
Yeah, I guess I basically did the same thing with uh, bubble sort. Um, except for in this case, I did use the f function to because I I don't know maybe I <clears throat> I don't know if this was a contest farm or whatever. Maybe it is. But yeah, and I just kind of compare on a contest. I would just compare if it's sorted, but you can also just do it this way, right? To check if it's sorted. So yeah. Um, yeah. What is the complexity here, right? Well, I mean, this is gonna be n squared due to the the um, bubble sort eness. And that's it. Uh, yeah. Is there an n log n solution? Why is my hmm? I mean, maybe there is, but um, hmm. All of n is interesting. I mean, I don't know. I think I would have maybe made it more in the temple of n, but uh, yeah, I think sortable segment is the stuff that we're talking about. About like each number can try to move up as much as possible or to its position, but. Um, I don't know. I'm happy with this. I mean, N is a hundred, so it's a little bit awkward. But yeah, I'm gonna call it night. Uh, I have to do this a little bit earlier. I forget that you know daylight savings and stuff like that, which is an American thing, I suppose. I mean, I know some countries have it, but this time of the year is, is new uh, an American thing. That's all I have for today, though. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. To mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.